And we have some breaking news this hour in Washington from the Justice Department. Three sources who have spoken to Rod Rosenstein tell NBC News the Deputy Attorney General is prepared for President Trump to fire him. This comes as we've also learned that Special Counsel Robert Mueller may be looking at a quicker path to closing that obstruction of justice probe against President Trump, with an interview with the president now not likely to take place. For more, I am joined by NBC News national security and justice reporter Julia Ainsley, along with Carol Lee, NBC News national political reporter who broke these exclusive stories, and Frank Fugluzzi, an NBC News national security analyst and former assistant director for counterintelligence at the FBI. Thanks to all of you. Julia, let me start with you with the breaking news we just mentioned. Rod Rosenstein, the deputy AG who, because of Sessions' recusal from this Russia matter, has become very central here. You have reporting that He's basically waiting to get fired now? Well, it seems that he's at peace. I'll say that I've spoken to three people who are close confidants of Rosenstein. They say they've talked to him through his tenure as deputy attorney general. And there were times where he was incredibly anxious. They describe late night phone calls. They describe someone who was really worried about the way the public would perceive him, both for his decision to fire James Comey and then under the public criticism from the president for his decision to appoint special counsel Mueller. But now it seems that he has sort of come to this resolved state. He's very stoic, and he's saying the phrase, here I stand. He's repeated that to several people this week. And it's the same phrase that Jim Comey used when he spoke to George W. Bush during a more controversial time in his administration. It's, it's something that we see people say when they're in public service, particularly in the intelligence community, and they want to say, no matter the political winds, I am here to stand and take whatever will befall me. I believe what I have done is the right decision. That's also critical here because he's telling people that he thinks that there are more facts that will come out later Later that will justify his decision to write that memo from May 2017 that allowed the uh, former FBI director, Jim Comey, to be fired. So there's a lot here that's sort of unpacking the mental state of Rod Rosenstein at this time, and it seems that that state is changing. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.